Here in the Bay Area tonight, the body of a fallen Oakland firefighter was brought back to the city where he served. 30-year-old Jake Walter had just graduated from the Fire Department Academy last spring. He was shot and killed last night in San Jose. KPX 5's Maria Medina spoke with a relative of the suspect now behind bars. Hours after his murder rocked the firefighter community, the body of Oakland firefighter Jake Walter was escorted in a miles-long procession from the San Jose coroner's office to Oakland's Chapel of the Chimes. Just hours before, San Jose police announced an arrest in Walter's murder. Uh, we're certain uh, that we do have the suspect that was responsible for uh, the homicide. He needs to face the consequences of what he did. And tonight, a relative of the suspect, Oliver Wenyo, says their family is stunned. He didn't show any sign of having a problem. Investigators say Wenyo gunned down Walter and another off-duty Oakland firefighter as they left a music event at Gordon Biersch on Taylor Street around 9.30 last night. We're still kind of going through and um, uh, interviews and, and talking to people to find out what exactly happened or what prompted this uh, to occur. Walter just graduated the academy in April. One of his instructors told KPIX 5 well, the whole department is in shock. He was a guy that would be always ready to help or assist or volunteer. I, I feel sorry for him, for both of them. Walter was only 30 years old. Two families now wondering what happened and why. A former co-worker of Walter's describes him as a stand-up guy. She says she cannot imagine why anyone would want to harm him. The other firefighter who was shot is expected to survive. In San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5. Tonight, flags are flying at half-staff outside all of Oakland's fire stations as a tribute.